What's going on everyone? This is Kunal from Altcoin Buzz and I've got a crypto tech update. In this segment, we're going to look at the unique technology behind some of the latest projects to hit the market, like Wanchain and Fusion. So this intriguing new technology is called cross-chain communication. So before we get into that, let's go over what a blockchain is. So a blockchain is a sequential time-sensitive stream of data that is verified by a consensus of computers called nodes that make up its network. So each data record is called a block and these blocks are linked to each other and secured using cryptography. And what cryptography does is it ensures that each new data record is unique and hasn't been tampered with. Now, every coin has its own blockchain. Bitcoin has its own blockchain and so does Ethereum, Litecoin and Neo. So each blockchain network makes sure that every transaction of the coin is secure and unique. For example, that's how the network checks to make sure that the max supply of Bitcoin, which was hard coded into the system at 21 million, does not change. This technology allows us to make a value judgment on the coin and calculate its market cap. As we look at the cryptocurrency space, there are many problems that come up with these when we have variable competing blockchains. Let's say that you have a Litecoin wallet with two Litecoin. You want to send one Litecoin to a company as a form of payment in exchange for one of their products, such as a small laptop. But the company only accepts Bitcoin as payment and only has a Bitcoin receive address. You would have to go to an exchange like Binance, deposit your Litecoin, trade it for some Bitcoin, and then send it to the company's Bitcoin receive address. That seems like a lot of work, guys, not to mention the withdrawal fees you would have to pay along the way. But with the Lightning Network, you would be able to do an atomic swap, which means you would directly exchange your Litecoin for Bitcoin through the cross-chain communication technology between the two blockchains. A temporary contract would be created, and the transaction will only take place when someone else sends you the correct amount of Bitcoin for your one Litecoin. Then you can directly send your newly exchanged Bitcoin to the company's Bitcoin receive address. So you see how the different blockchains can talk to each other, right? This opens up amazing new opportunities. Take the Internet of Value, for instance. So the Internet of Value just means that you can instantly exchange and settle a foreign currency payment or any asset that is of value to someone. So that could be a stock. That could be con customer rewards points and even intellectual property. So let me explain. So this idea of trading assets is another use case for cross-chain communication. So right now, there are many blockchain projects that are trying to tokenize one asset. So an example would be Power Ledger, which is bringing renewable energy to the blockchain. Or Digix DAO, which is trying to tokenize gold on the blockchain. However, we can't really trade these assets with each other because the energy blockchains aren't communicating with the gold blockchain. You can make a trading pair between Digix DAO and Power Ledger, but it would be a wild, wild west where the transfer of the ownership of assets themselves wouldn't be made properly. So cross-chain technology would allow for this interoperability to happen, meaning that by a standard and creating a standard, which the data and transactions on each of these blockchains can communicate with one another and then that can allow inter-asset exchange. This would take a concept like India's multi-commodity exchange where you can trade futures contracts of gold for energy and bring it to the blockchain, bringing tons of institutional money along with it. <laughs> of course, this is not financial advice and you should do your own research. So here are some projects that are looking to implement cross-chain technology. So let's take a look at Ripple first. So this article on Ripple.com says the Internet of Value, what it means and how it benefits everyone. So it goes on to describe how the Internet of Value and Ripple's vision is for value to be exchanged as quickly as information. So although information moves around the world instantly, a single payment from one country to another is slow, expensive and unreliable. So with the Internet of Value, a value transaction such as foreign currency payment can happen instantly, just as how people have been sharing words, images, and videos online for decades. And it's not just money. The Internet of Value would enable the exchange of any asset that is of value to someone, including stocks, votes, frequent flyer points, securities, intellectual properties, etc. So, until now, selling, buying, or exchanging these assets has required an intermediary, like a bank, 
a marketplace, credit card company, or third-party booking service like Airbnb. So Ripple's solution will allow assets to be transferred from one party directly to another with no middleman. The transfer is validated, permanent, and completed instantly. So what they're talking about is, yes, using, like, for example, Bitcoin, we can have a trustless system without a third party where you can transfer one Bitcoin for another Bitcoin or send one Bitcoin to somebody else. But you can only do that inside the Bitcoin blockchain and you can only transfer one Bitcoin for another Bitcoin or one other type of coin or asset for another type of coin or asset. And Ripple wants to create a system where you can transfer different kinds of assets. So you can see how they're trying to do this and they've made a lot of different partnerships with many different groups. So let's take a look at the next project that is trying to use cross-chain transactions and that is Wanchain. So this article by Bitcoin Magazine says Wanchain, cross-chain transactions for digital finance. So what they're basically trying to do is create a decentralized, you know, market, decentralized stock exchange if you will, plus more. And what they're talking about is Wanchain, an innovative digital platform curated by the Chinese firm Wanglu Tech, shows promise as a framework for building a decentralized financial market. Wanchain's model for distributed financial infrastructure allows the exchange of assets across different blockchain networks. The native cryptocurrency Wancoin will serve as an intermediate currency for the exchanges. So what does it mean? So their long-term vision is ambitious. It aims to establish a distributed digital asset-based financial infrastructure which will allow institutions and individuals to run their own virtual teller where service offerings such as loan origination, asset exchanges, credit payments, and transaction settlements are based on digital assets. So thanks to blockchain technology, OneChain is decentralized and permits transactions without the need for trusted third parties. However, the platform's core value comes from the fact that it can transfer assets using a decentralized cross-chain mechanism and protocol. Multiple blockchains will be connected for the purpose of transferring value across networks. So, it's really interesting and it talks about different aspects here. So, you can have crypto. The OneChain model comes at a time when myriad applications are being developed across the financial industry. And this includes, you know, cryptocurrency exchanges like Poloniex, cryptocurrency loans like CoinCheck, multi-cryptocurrency payments and settlements like coin payments, digital asset transactions, and digital asset investing and finance. But the problem here is you can see that these are all different, um, these are all different entities doing this. So OneChain will try to combine all of this and create a singular decentralized financial services platform. And that's really amazing if, we, if OneChain can deliver on what it promises. Let's take a look at the next one, Fusion. And the main vision of the Fusion project is to solve the interoperability issue by establishing a platform level public chain which can connect all kinds of values, provide complete financial functions, communicate between diverse communities and tokens, and bridge centralized and decentralized organizations to bring the internet of values as early as possible. So here's that buzzword again, internet of values. So in order to achieve this vision, one must build a public chain which allows different tokens to be mapped to it. This will allow these tokens in the same chain to be used to achieve multi-token smart contracts. So it will increase the interoperability of the Internet of Values by allowing different tokens from different blockchains. So for example, you can take a, a token, of, an, an Ethereum-based token, like, you know, a WAN chain, or an Ethereum-based token more specifically, like, you know, B token, and you can combine it with, and, and have it interact with, a neo based token like red pulse or q link right so it can combine these different services and allow transactions and communication between the blockchains of these different services right so that's fusion and it's really an amazing thing and let's take a look at the last one here icon so icon is a massive platform that will allow various blockchains to interact with each other via smart contracts and this is on coin central's uh website here talking about what is icon a beginner's guide to a global decentralized network and uh we've all we heard this term hyperconnect the world and they want to build one of the largest decentralized networks in the world so icon wants to do this 
by building a massive platform that will allow various blockchains to interact with each other via smart contracts. So what does that mean? That means existing within what developers brand the Icon Republic, communities will connect with each other using Icon's loop chain technology. Its end game is this is the important part its end game is to provide a platform where players from financial security insurance healthcare educational and commerce industries the largest industries and sectors in the private sector and beyond and they can coexist and transact on a single network so they have a nice diagram with us and they can show like here's an industry number one here's industry number two here's industry number three and you, here's industry number four and they're all communicating with each other so information from this industry can be tapped by this industry if necessary and if allowed remember this is all cryptography so it's all secured and only the information which you allow to be shared is going to be shared throughout this network and it's all controlled by smart contracts and yeah so it's really a cross-chain technology really would could be if delivered on would be the next step in blockchain where you you cannot it's not just about you know one individual chain like uh, I'm let's say for example I'm investing in Bitcoin so I hold you know X amount of Bitcoin and I can you know send it to somebody else and then they'll have Bitcoin with cross-chain technology I can take one Bitcoin and send it to someone on the lightning network and they can have you know one Litecoin if they send the Litecoin back to me so we can do direct cross-chain technology it's gonna essentially make you know centralized exchanges obsolete in this specific use case and because then everyone will be able to transact you know many different assets throughout you know the blockchain without any third party without any intermediary so uh, what do you guys think um do you guys believe that you know uh, cross chain technology has a future uh, which specific project are you guys really invested in? Is there something else you guys want to add to the conversation? So please uh, comment on the description down below. Uh, you can also check out the Altcoin, Altcoin Buzz uh, Twitter account, where we're up to 73,000 followers now. Right, That's awesome, guys. Keep it up. And what we're trying to do is build a decentralized media network, and we're really looking to capitalize on what's going on on the blockchain so thank you very much guys and we'll see you in the next video